Good afternoon, friends. Myself, Dr. Ravi Kant Pathak, and I'm going to start your classes. In the last video lecture, we have talked about the different types of the tissue. First is the epithelial tissue. Second is the connective tissue. And uh, today, today we will talk about the remaining two type, two different types of the tissue. That is the muscular tissue as well as nerve tissue. So here we are going to discuss about the muscular tissue. So muscular tissue, you can see, uh, you know very well. So there is the three different types of the muscular tissue found. Okay. So three different types of the muscular tissue generally found. First is the skeletal muscle tissue. First is the skeletal muscle tissue. Second is the smooth muscle tissue. And third is the cardiac muscle tissue. Okay. And in case of the skeletal, that muscle tissue, so muscle tissue generally made up of the protein so they are made up of the protein and the name of the protein is the actin myosin tropomyosin troponin okay so here uh, you can see uh, that is the uh, third type of the muscular tissue which is okay and here uh, what you will see muscular tissue each muscle tissue is made up of the many long cylindrical fibers arranged in the parallel array it means you can say this muscle tissue this muscle tissue like this there is the arrangement like parallel. They are the parallelly arrangement and they forms a they forms a special type of structure which is known as the biofibril. So which is known as the myofibril. And this myofibril is considered as a basic unit of muscle cells. And muscle unit is considered as a sarcomere. Okay. So now this myofibril so here, these fibers are composed of these fibers are composed of the biofibrils. And you know very well in case of the muscle cells, they are made up of the two different types of the protein, actin and myosin. Actin is the thin protein, myosin is the thick protein. Actin, they have also two different types of the units, G and F. So F is the polymer, F, F will combine from the polymer unit and G is the monomer, clear? So G is the monomer unit. And myosin, myosin considered as a thick and myosin have the HLF, uh, HMM and LMM, so light myosin as well as high, uh, high uh, that means light as well as high myosin. So we will also talk about this topic in the uh, locomotion and movement uh, of our body in that human physiology chapter. But you should to know a little bit about the uh, property of the muscles because we are discussing. So you should to know about the different types of the protein like actin, myosin, tropomyosin and troponin. So next, uh, if you'll see, so muscle fibers, you know very well, so muscles as well as neurons both show the conduction property. So here, if we give the signal to the muscle cells, so that time, it, if we got the stimulus, so it will become shortened. Shortened means there is the different, uh, different uh, stations, that means different bands, it will become short, their length becomes shortened. And when stimulus finish, so that time it will become relaxed. When stimulus finish, so that time it will become relaxed and return to their native states. It will return to their native state, okay? And it perform in the coordinated fashion. Coordinated fashion means like neurons and it involves in the play, play important roles to the movements or locomotion. It play important role in the movements and locomotion of the body or particular organ. So if we'll see, there is the three different types of the muscular tissue. So how many types? Three different types. First is the skeletal, second is the smooth. And third is the third is the you can say cardiac cardiac muscle cardiac muscles. Okay, so first is skeletal skeletal muscle tissue. You will see the property of skeletal muscle tissue. So here they are closely attached to the skeletal bones. Okay, and it is also have the two different name. One is called the voluntary voluntary uh, voluntary skeletal muscle, and second is the stripped or striated muscle. This is also called the stripped or striated. Why? Because they have the striation. They have the striation alternative light and dark band. So due to this, it is known as the stripped muscle cells. Okay. And voluntary, why we are saying voluntary? Because it can be controlled through your brain. So due to this, it is also called the voluntary skeletal muscles. Okay. And where it found? It found. It is found generally. It is found generally with the endoskeleton means they are attached with the skeletal bones okay and they have the here they have been muscles such as biceps striated and skeletal muscle fiber bundled together in a parallel fashion if you'll see so this is the cylindrical you know property of the muscle cells this is the cylindrical and this is the cylindrical structure 
and these cylindrical structure they have the multinucleate condition what have what they have they have the multinucleate condition and their nucleus their nucleus located towards the periphery their nucleus located towards the periphery so uh, this is the property of the uh, skeletal muscle cells and if you we'll compare between skeletal and smooth muscle cells so their shape also vary smooth muscle cells have the fusi form means that you can say spindle shape both ends in both ends are the tapered but in case of the skeletal muscle cells they have the only which are the only cylindrical shape structure okay if you we'll see where they have the if you we'll see the function so a sheath of tough connective tissue suppose that this is the mus, uh, this is the this is the muscle cell skeletal muscle cells and they are surround it, it is generally surround with the connective tissue it surround with the above connective tissue so connective tissue includes several bundles of the muscle fiber okay next property of the smooth muscle cells and uh, if we we'll compare between the smooth muscle cells as well as skeletal muscle cells so smooth muscle cells is the spindle shape smooth muscle cells have how uh, how many sorry uh, spindle shape the how it is it have shape so it have the speed shape uh, spindle shape or you can say fusi form fusi form means both ends are tapered both ends are the tapered and if you we'll see here they have the uninucleate condition they have the uninucleate condition so smooth muscle cells it have the uninucleate condition uh, we are going to discuss about the property of the smooth muscle cells okay if you we'll see here the fiber tapers at both ends the fiber tapers at both ends that is the fusi form and not show striations if you we'll see muscle cells also like smooth muscle skeletal muscle cells smooth muscle cells also called involuntary uh, it is also called involuntary skeletal muscle is the voluntary and smooth muscle cells in the involuntary and this is also known as the unstriated muscle because no striation no striation no alternate uh, alternate light and dark band so due to this it is considered as a unstriated smooth muscle cells or unstriated muscle cells or involuntary muscle cells okay here uh, they their function cannot be directly controlled i had already told okay if you we'll see their location that means the wall of internal organ internal organ means like blood vessels and stomach and intestine contains a type of the muscles you know very well in the intestine so there there is the peristalsis peristalsis that means movement of the food movement of the uh, that means intestinal not movement of the food sorry so that is intestinal movement of the wall and which helps in the passage of food downwards so this phenomenon is known as the peristalsis so this peristalsis they are also uh, made up of the our intestine they are also made up of the smooth muscle cells okay and these smooth muscle cells you know that is four different types of the layer found in the uh, your uh, intestine first is the outer outermost you can say serosa then um, uh, serosa then muscularis then submucosa and mucosa clear so muscularis they have the generally smooth muscle cells and blood vessels they also are they also they are also made up of the smooth muscle cells okay and uh, sphincter most of the sphincter they also made up of the smooth muscle cells okay and uh, what is the function so here smooth muscle cells you know very well so cell junction cell junction you know that means adhering tight as well as adhering tight as well as gap junction so hold them together and they are bundled together in a connective tissue sheath okay it means you can say they are also bundled together like uh, like skeletal muscles so they are also bundled together in the connective tissue sheath okay next property next is the third type which is known as the cardiac muscle cells cardiac muscle cells so here if you we'll read so cardiac muscle cells uh, cell junction fuse uh, if we we'll compare between the smooth muscles and uh, skeletal muscles as well as cardiac muscle cells so cardiac muscle cells they have some property of the smooth muscle cells and some property of the skeletal muscle cells so uh, cardiac muscle cells is the branch if you we'll see so they have the branching and one more very interesting feature of the cardiac muscle cells that is called intercalated disc intercalated disc found in case of the cardiac muscle cells and if you we'll see so there is the branching also found branching also found and what is the property which have similar to like a smooth muscle cells so it is the uninucleate condition it is the uninucleate condition okay 
and uh, here that means they have uh, another property of the smooth muscle cells which will uh, relevant with this so that is the involuntary cardiac muscle cells they are also considered as a involuntary okay so here you can say plasma membrane cardiac muscle cells and lag they are sticking together okay so this is the cell junction fuse plasma membrane of cardiac muscle cells lag and make them stick together It means they are uh, properly attached they are properly attached stick together okay next is the uh, that means location it is a contractile tissue where found you know very well our heart is the myogenic so it is located in the heart so cardiac muscle cells where found it is found in the heart and heart they are the very interesting property of the heart so it is have the four different types of the tissue epithelial vascular connective and nerve tissue okay and here what is the function communication junction you know communication junction they are the intercalated discs by which they form the communicated junction at some at some fusion points allow the cells allow the cells to contract as units that when one cell receives a signal contract it never also stimulated that means similar like similar to property they also show the muscles property so due to this these are considered as a cardiac muscle so these are considered as a cardiac muscles if you see the difference between we'll see the difference between cardiac muscles and smooth muscles as well as skeletal muscles so here they have given the uh, clearly distinct you will see so here clearly distinct uh, we will discuss uh, one by one so first is the skeletal muscle so this is the cylindrical i had already told striation yes so striation found nucleus that means multi nucleate and peripheral i had already told control voluntary and special structure no special structure in case of the cardiac muscle cells that is the cylindrical branched cylindrical branched okay so cylindrical that is the property which are similar to which are similar to like like skeletal muscle cells okay striation yes striation also found uninucleate and central this is the property of smooth muscle cells so if we compare from here to here so both are the same here compared from here to here both are the same involuntary this is also relevant with the smooth muscle cells and intercalated this this is the interesting feature of the cardiac muscle cells next is the smooth muscle cell a smooth muscle cells they are fusiform form shape and here striation no i had already told uninucleate central involuntary and may be have the single unit or multi unit so it have may be single units or multi units okay and if you will see also there is the difference between uh, that means skeletal muscle as well as cardiac muscle as well as smooth muscle so skeletal muscle have the more sarcoplasmic reticulum sarcoplasmic reticulum is those uh, those endoplasmic reticulum which is found inside the muscles that is called sarcoplasmic reticulum so in case of the skeletal muscle tissue so abundant sarcoplasmic reticulum sorry sarcoplasmic reticulum it is much abundant in case of the skeletal muscle tissue and in case of the cardiac muscle tissue little bit uh, uh, abun uh, not abundant but they have uh, present little bit present and in case of the smooth muscle cells no means very little very least quantity present a sarcoplasmic reticulum if we we'll see the contraction contraction property so skeletal muscle have the highest fast contraction property and in case of the cardiac muscle cells they have the moderate contraction property and in case of the smooth muscle cells which have the very slow contraction property clear so these are the difference between as uh, muscles uh, mus muscular tissue and you have already seen different types of the muscular tissue like skeletal cardiac as well as smooth muscle cells okay so now i am going to discuss next type of the tissue that is known as the nerve tissue okay and in the nerve tissue so we have already uh, we will also talk about the uh, that means the nerve control and coordination system in human physiology but should you should to know little bit about here neural tissue <laughs> so neural tissue exert the greatest control over the body you know this is uh, it is you can say it is the brain brain considered as a cpu of our body so due to this and brain is made up of the neurons tissue clear so due to this they have the greatest control of the body okay and changing condition the nerve tissue arise from the ectoderm of the embryo this is the very characteristic feature i had already told about the lecture of the caudata so that time i had uh, i had i had told to you about the ectoderm form the brain bezoderm form the bone and endoderm form the digestive tract okay 
that means you can say endoderm form the digestive tract so here ectoderms uh, neurons basically forms from ectoderm in origin and you know very well a very interesting feature of the neuron cells they have the one cells which is known as the neuroglia cells neuroglia cells are glial cells they act as a glue like this is the glue like cells and this is not have the very important function but it provide the support uh, it provide the support and security to brain neurons okay it is not have property like conduction and uh, Uh, conduction and coordination. So it generally provides the support as well as security. Clear? And if we we'll compare between neurons and their number, so it have one is to ten number. Neuroglia one is to one neurons, ten neuroglia cells. Okay. So rest of the neural system pro uh, protect and support two neurons. Neuroglia make up of more than half of the volume of neural tissue in our body. I had already told. So these neuroglia neuroglia is present one is to one is to ten ratio. one neuron cell then 10 neuroglia cells okay and they have no property of they have no like a conduction property like neuron cells it have only the it have only provide the protection and support if we we'll see the property of neuron cells so here you can see this is the neuron cells and here they have the cell body with nucleus so neuron cells have the three part dendrites dendrites and exon so dendrites exon and their terminal okay exon dendrites and cyton clear so these three parts of the neuron cells found okay and you know also that is the neuron cells they are the longest cell in our body their length up to the 100 uh, uh, sorry 1 meter up to the 100 cm and their diameter 100 micron meter their diameter considered as a 100 micro micron meter and the neuron cells and muscles both generally not divide i had already told why they are not divide okay so now your class is going to finish and uh, thank you for your uh, uh, patience and cooperation and uh, you can subscribe my channel and uh, view and like and hit the bell icon for regular updates so thank